Jay and I are going to be living on our boats. At each port, we're going to be looking for things we need to survive. Along the way, we're going to be trying to do this on as little money as possible. We can try bartering for everything we need in, in exchange for, let's say, um, eggs and, and meat and milk at one farm. Uh, we could offer them a ride in our sailboat, massage, I do henna tattooing, I do hair beading, um, work trade, the list goes on and on. We have uh, such a simple life here. We've got wind power, solar power, and uh, we don't really cook our foods, we don't eat propane. I mean, we're really talking uh, a primitive lifestyle, but with modern comforts. Let's go see what Lake City has in store for us. And you know, there's so many great minerals already. I can tell your soil is really well fed. It's a lot of really great minerals. Oh, here's a really good piece, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's giant. It's so fresh too. Oh yeah, smell that, oh, oh my gosh. That'll clear your sinuses. Oh one, yeah, one oh that's amazing. Oh, we're gonna have fun with that. that. And would anyone else like to try, you wanna try I, one? I had eggs for breakfast. Okay, so you're already, you good. <laughs> Which I do Go every day. <laughs> oh, that's it's good. wonderful. That's a good yeah, one. That's All good. right. Mm. <laughs> I'm like oh. over here too. So you got to try one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this one is really beautiful and I just mm. love eggs. They're like oh, nature's so perfect fast food. I know. You know, it comes great. in its own little yeah. shell and they're beautiful and the they're shape. So yeah, and there's the shape is just incredible. That's beautiful. You just crack it open on your on your uh, eye tooth. Right. <laughs> it's fast food eating yeah. egg. <laughs> When you're hungry in nature, this is what you do. <laughs> you find eggs. Yep. They just love to suck on your fingers. You can get two of them going. Hi, sweetheart. This one's on my elbow. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> oh, it's really cute. <laughs> your elbow, too. I know, he's slobbering all over my elbow. That's adorable. So I was down by the dock and uh, there was a, a scientific team studying the fish in Lake Pepin, specifically the walleye. And uh, you know, I said, what are you gonna do with the extra fish? And they said, well, hey, we've got a lot. Do you want some? So I said, heck yeah, walleye. That's like, that's like the tenderloin of the sea. Don't mind the flies. There's, it's a normal part of the process of blood. And you just uh, cut behind the fin and behind the gill. Okay, and then uh, you cut behind the, and then you just, uh, take the blade and you run it across the spine and as you're doing that you pull the flesh back. The most important thing is not to cut yourself. It looks like a little um, lizard or alligator eye. It's very see. amphibian. It's, it's, it see. could even be a but frog can eye. It still, uh, oh, it's just nasty or a snake can eye. Can eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Should I really eat it? Put it up for me. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. I love these kinds of places where you can see like frogs and okay. here I see a spring coming up. And I think that that's where we're gonna get our, we're gonna find our watercress. Wow, this is incredible. This is better than I even imagined. This is like the mother load of watercress. Unbelievable, unbelievable. What a great find. This is incredible. Mm, and it's got that nice spicy kick to it. It's just wonderful as a green in a salad. Mm. Now when I'm looking at this, does it matter about the leaves, big, small? Um, no. what, what, what we can do is take a whole stalk to juice it. Okay. And, then, oh, yeah. um, and yeah. then we can also take the leaves and put the leaves in a salad. Okay. So it's good for juicing and it's also good for a salad green. <laughs> these, are, these are fabulous. How much do we need now? I think that um, we've got all we need. Okay. We love morels. They are gorgeous. This region. Wow, we love Lovely it. Lovely with butter. Yes. Olive and stuffed. We've got a great stuffed um, morel recipe we're going to try later. Really? Oh, oh. yeah. Let's have a little kefir. Okay. A little black pepper. Mm -hmm. Do you think I could do a barter, say, fresh fish for massaging a fisherman's shoulders? I mean, it's kind of a ridiculous scenario, but 
I think it'll work. I'm gonna give it a try. But you'll never hear me complain. Cause, Cause I've, I've got, got friends, friends in low places. places where the whiskey drowns and, and the beer chases my blues away. And I'll be okay. But these are gonna have to go too because these need to be dry cleaned. I don't think we're gonna be dry, dry cleaning clothes while we, we're living sustainably on the boat. I have a feeling all these are gonna go, which means that I could, there's more room for my clothes. <laughs> yeah, the dry cleaning stuff is out of here. Oh my gosh, forget it. That stuff is toxic anyway. Nobody green dry cleans their clothes. It's a war between 70s classics and 80s jazz. I wonder if two will be enough. I think, you know, sometimes it takes eight, but I'm going to try for two this time. Ooh. Yeah. And so we're going to uh, prepare this beautiful bison. And this is what primarily uh, Native Americans lived on. And this is, you know, to a lot of people, this meat is sacred. It's it's a it's a very special medicine, and we're going to treat it like that today. Mm -mm. That's Isn't that beautiful? Just just to give it a nice glisten, we're going to put just a tiny bit of olive oil over the top of that. What we were looking for were uh, something to go along with our uh, sashimi steak dinner, and what we found was incredible. We found these morel mushrooms, and we stuffed these with a, a kefir that I had already made and chives. And so uh, this is going to be our sashimi steak dinner and it's kind of an east, fun, west fusion of uh, seasonal, mostly seasonal, seasonal locally grown food right here in Lake City, Minnesota. So today we're going to be looking for some good raw organic milk as well as some good well water. And we're also looking for some probiotics which I'm going to get by eating cow manure. And we heard about this great organic dairy farm that's not too far from here. So we're going to see if we can hitch a ride out there and go check out this farm. Oh, wow! I got some. Oh, oh look out. It's going wild. Awesome. This is a good one? Yeah. It's from the good cow? Yeah. All right, let's do this. So, um, Brady just found some really good cow manure for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this because I want to get the E. coli. And the E. coli is going to take care of the dead and decaying tissue in my body. And it's going to give me a really great cleanse. I think I'm going to drink it down with milk because that's kind of more like a vitamin. I'm not going to really chew it. I'm going to swallow it. Hey, Jay, could you please bring me some milk, please? Yeah. Thank you. This is warm and it hasn't been filtered yet. Oh, great. Thanks so for the milk. Yeah. Okay, I don't so. know if I'm, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so this is, my, this is my vitamin. No, I really don't. You know, it really seriously does taste like a vitamin. It doesn't have a horrible flavor at all. It just, it feels good. It just feels, it feels it. healthy. He didn't oh. think it was milk. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Wow. Really? Yeah, I'm really sure. The probiotics are so good for you. Great probiotics. Not it. Did you try some yet? Yes. Yeah. You know, you have some? He just, he did really? Right here. Okay, I, I, you do, I will. Come on, Brady. Brady. <laughs> 